Hey everyone, Dan Shore here. So as you may know, a few weeks ago, I spotted a uh, what looked to be like a test of a job portal in Google search. Uh, Barry Schwartz picked up on it and wrote about it on Search Engine Roundtable. I had made a video at the time with Jing just sharing the functionality of it. Uh, since that time, all my Jing videos have disappeared, so I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, they've, they're gone. So a few people have asked me for that video or a new video so I'm just making one here to put it on YouTube so it's a little bit more permanent. Uh, so again, this is, appears to be all types of job searches. Um, you, you know, I've tried a whole bunch of these and what I'm seeing is, uh, is um, these uh, job box results kind of popping up in Google, um, whether it's online or actual physical location jobs. I'm seeing those for both type searches. So when you do a job search, you see the, uh, the box here one interesting thing to note that I didn't click on um, a few weeks ago, but this disclaimer actually takes you to a Maps, a Google Maps um, resource. So I'm wondering if this is tying into Google Maps somehow. And um, in that account, my home and work address are saved in there in Google Maps. So when I'm navigating on my phone or whatever, I can easily just punch in home. But I thought maybe that's what was causing the triggering of that box because I have it connected to my Maps account. So in a different account here, my old Google Plus account, uh, which is a graveyard at this point, um, I've you know tried uh, adding my home address and work address, and I'm not seeing the box here at all. Um, just tried this just a few minutes ago. So I'm not sure if this is just the test happening in my account or uh, you know why I seem to be getting this jobs box. I haven't seen many reports of other people getting this. So. Um, I'm not sure why um, it's not being rolled out and why I've had it, you know, for weeks now. But uh, it's here, so I just wanted to show some of the functionality. Um, you know, you can click right on a result. Uh, it opens in the new tab here. And now this is kind of the job portal itself. Uh, within the portal, here's the listing. I can uh, click that. It will open up the actual listing that Google is uh, scraping this from. Uh, with the uh, with the information right in ZipRecruiter in this case, I can uh, see how long ago the listing was posted. I can also just click right on this, and it then takes me to more listings for I believe this particular restaurant. Um, it looks like it's just trying to match the name of that restaurant, and um, you can also do things little simple things like share it. Click on that share box. You can um, see web results for the brand that you're looking at. So that's kind of interesting. So from the job portal, I can just click on the name of the restaurant and then it takes me to that restaurant name. So that's kind of interesting. Um, going back to the actual search result, there's some other functionality. You know, I can trigger certain categories, which then takes me to the job portal with that category filter. It looks like I, got, I can turn uh, multiple of those figures on or off. Um, I can, uh, I guess, look at other types of filters like uh, company name, employer name, date posted. I can filter by the past three days, the past week, or the past month. Um, you can obviously scroll down. It looks like there's a bit of a, just an infinite scroll here happening. Um, and it looks to be, anecdotally speaking, that the ranking of these, at least to me, appears to be um, based upon location. So as I scroll down, it's getting further and fur further from where I am. I'm in Worcester, Massachusetts, and as I go down, I'm getting just beyond that, geographically speaking. Um, I also, this just grabbed my eye here. I'm wondering what this feedback link takes us to. Maybe the same maps thing. I'm not quite sure, actually. Pop-up? Okay, that's just a little pop-up where you can give them feedback on it. And um, one other interesting thing I thought I just want to point out here is that as a user, I'm not really finding the Google's um, jobs portal to be all that much more useful than Indeed.com or these other job listing places. So with Indeed, I mean, as much as I don't quite like the UI and just the look of this as much, um, I can still filter by salary, by job type, by the actual location, um, by the company experience level. Uh, there's a nice distance setting here, relevance, date. There's a lot more options for navigation through these jobs um, rather than the job, job portal itself in Google. Um, when I'm in Google's job portal, there are some of these filtering things, but I just am not getting the sense that these results are as great. Um, I think 
theoretically they could be or might be in the future because they're pulling as you can see from all kinds of places career builder um, zip recruiter glass door so you know in aggregate maybe google will be able to provide better results but just some of the navigation filtering category features i'm not feeling quite as um, confident that Google's results are really better or even the same as something like indeed.com. Um, one last little interesting thing is, uh, as I'm noticing here uh, doing this job, some of the listing sources Google is pulling from are more niche. So this is coming from Catholic Jobs Online. So um, this is obviously not as big of a site I mean, it's not even, it's got a very small domain authority, um, not as big as Indeed or ZipRecruiter at all. So it looks like for a more niche environment, Google is going out there and looking at uh, more um, specific job listings. So I uh, hope this video helps for people that are interested in the job search space. Uh, again, I have really very little knowledge around why I'm getting this, um, why other people aren't, why my other accounts are not. Um, it's uh, not something I've really looked into or asked Google, but on a surface level, I'm really not sure. So if anybody else has any ideas, I'd, be, I'd love to hear them. But uh, hope this video helps. And uh, you can find me at evolvingseo.com or the Experts on the Wire SEO podcast. Thanks, everyone.